We are bikepacking 2,500 miles from London to Istanbul. And in this video, we continue our journey into the third country of our trip, Belgium, and explore the beautiful town of Bruges. So it is the start of day four and we are in France and we're already going to be in Belgium today. And I actually do have a warm shower host set up, which is good because it gets a little stressful, the uncertainty of not having something lined up. We are kicking off the day by stopping at the beach that was like literally right next to our campground. We hadn't seen it yet, so we're just seeing it and it looks like the tide's way out there. It's just so peaceful today. It's really nice, even though we're on roads. And it's just really beautiful weather. It's not too hot. schedule is quite a bit different. They do much smaller breakfasts. Usually it's just like a croissant and coffee from what I've heard. We're used to eating pretty big breakfasts. Guys, we are doing breakfast in the park. We decided, I don't think I've ever mentioned on the channel, but I have a condition called Hashimoto's. It's an autoimmune disease and I'm supposed to avoid gluten. I do better avoiding gluten. Obviously, you guys have seen this channel over the last couple of years since I've been diagnosed. I don't always follow that, especially while traveling. But I really am trying to be good this time because if I don't, I'm going to feel pretty terrible and not have the energy to do this. And so Alex's mission is to torture me by going to boulangeries and other places throughout Europe. But yeah, Alex got some croissants. Oh, I'm so hungry. Not a 10 out of 10. I'd give it like a 7. Group. Coconut yogurt and eggs is my plan. We just finished our breakfast slash almost lunch. It took way longer than we expected. We still have like close to 50 miles to go today and it's 11, 17. Some kind of a tilling machine or harvest machine here. That's cool. Definitely feeling sore today, guys. My arms, just putting my weight on it. So sore, it's great. Definitely feeling a little bit of saddle pain thing, too. Just passing through Graveline, and it's just quaint little town here in the northern part of France and there's this beautiful dirt trail. It's really, really nice. That's indicating the Eurovelo 12 and that's the route we'll be taking for a little bit. It's really just our first day here in France pretty much and already the cycling is so much better than it was in England. We have this dedicated paved cycle path it's, it's really amazing and it's going through all these fields. Absolutely gorgeous. We have a pretty strong headwind right now. Definitely makes such a difference with your speed. I feel like I'm going uphill with this headwind. Oh, 
Alex enjoys boulangeries. My lunch is grocery store lentil mush with carrots. Just made it to Belgium, our third country on the strip, and it's only day four. As we approached our first big town in Belgium, we were happy to see how good the cycling infrastructure is with very nice bike lanes. So we've stopped here in this town, Vern. We're not here for very long, but I really just couldn't help it. I saw these beautiful buildings off to the right. The route was going the other way, and I just had to stop because it's so beautiful here. So took a look around this cathedral. It's really cool looking. This is a really, really beautiful town. Maybe we should go in that one. It was really cool, this building one but we really have to go we have to we got to stop stopping well we just stopped again we're gonna be super late to our warm shower host but I saw some beautiful buildings in the distance so I'm gonna go check it out Else. All right, well, it turns out all the buildings are closed, so I can't explore inside, but these are really beautiful from the outside, and I think we probably should get back on the road. Definitely detoured a bit to go here. We just saw, like, giant cathedral things in the distance. Lots of cute towns so far. This has been my favorite so far at the trip in terms of, Newport. like... No, I'm saying, like, since we've been in Belgium, I feel like the little towns have been the quaintest. Although I love the English cottages. Yeah, that's true. So I don't know. I've got cabbages or Brussels sprouts on one side of me and windmills on the other. Our accommodation for the night. All our stuff's everywhere. Good morning, everybody. It is the start of day five, and we are in another warm shower location. We had to take everything out of our bags because they actually have a laundry machine downstairs that we were able to use, which is really nice. Uh, we have a very short day today. We only have to go about, I think, between 15 and 20 miles to Bruges. Then we are going to stop for the day there and take a little bit of time because we really want to celebrate Bruges. And it is our 15 year anniversary, Liz and I. Can you believe that? 15 years? Yeah, we got married when we were super, super young. Babies. We were, yeah, let's throw in a clip and <laughs> show them how young we were. And we're gonna get packed up and head out. This part of Europe, everything is super flat, so you just fly, even on a 
heavy loaded bike, you're just flying going 10 to 20 miles an hour most of the time. So let's get packed up. All right, so our nephews really liked how we would use magic to put our stuff away and pack up our camp like we've done in some of our other videos. So we're going to do that again. How should we do we snap a finger? Bippity boppity boo, we could try. You can say the magic words. Gotta do magic, guys. Bippity boppity boo. Whoa. <laughs> we just stopped at a little bakery here. It's sort of like a croissant dough with like chocolate and chocolate chips. Whoa. That is amazing. The chocolate is so good. I guess it's true what they say about Belgian chocolate. We are just headed out right now. It's only about 16 miles to Bruges. It's nine o'clock, so I think we should get there pretty early. After dropping off our stuff at the hotel, we got changed and headed out to explore. Okay guys, we're in Belgium. We had to try Belgium waffle finally. Don't drop it. That's a really good waffle. I love those, those crystallized sugar bits. Mm. We're at our first touristy stop of the day here in Bruges, and we're at the Belfry of Bruges, which is this big clock tower. You can actually go all the way to the top, but we won't be doing that today. It was built in 1240, which is crazy. That means it's like 800 years old. So for those of you that don't know, Belgium is very known for their chocolate. They think they have the better chocolate than even Switzerland, which of course is famous for its chocolate. And we did get a sample and it was really good. So we bought a box of 20 different chocolates, which I'm really excited about. I feel like there's few things more satisfying than taking one bite out of many different pieces of chocolates in a box. So starting with the pistachio praline. So Belgium's actually known for their pralines based on my research. So pralines are my favorite type of chocolate. So I'm really excited. That is good. I feel like I need some salt. It's a common problem I have with all sweet things. I always feel like I need salt, <laughs> but it's good. After wandering the beautiful streets of Bruges, we decided to climb up a windmill. Whoa, big gap there. <laughs> a little scary. It's a good view though. Yeah. Before heading back to our hotel for a much needed relaxing evening. Our swanky room, it's way too fancy for these dirt bags, huh? Yeah, and we also didn't pay anything for this either. We used points. Hotel points. Wow. First hotel of the trip. So we lost you yesterday. I ended up getting sick. Something I ate did not agree with me, and I threw up a lot last night. 
So I'm feeling pretty terrible this morning, and we're going to look into potentially staying because I don't think I'm going to be able to bike much if I can. Feeling pretty weak. It's unfortunate because there's an unlimited, beautiful buffet breakfast at this hotel. I feel like I'm not going to be able to eat anything, so... I'll be able to eat it, though. You'll be able to eat enough for the two of us? Yeah. <laughs> Liz is feeling better. A little bit better. Stomach's still irritated. We were just going to get stay another night in a hotel here, but then I feel like I maybe can go at least 30 miles to Ghent, so that's what we're going to try to do. We already booked a place, and it's non-refundable, so we got to get there. Okay, we got to get there. <laughs> it's already 1.35, and we haven't left the hotel yet. Yeah. So we got to get our butts moving to get 30 miles in. Before leaving Bruges, we checked out one more thing on our list on our way out, Mini Water Park. Taking a little break here, about six miles away from Ghent, and the road has been incredibly flat, which has been really nice. But the only thing is it's been crazy crowded, and there's like so many people passing through here on e-bikes, just flying, <laughs> and they're going like 30 miles an hour on this road. got to our hotel here in Ghent and the downtown, the, the center area here is just so beautiful. So many old historical buildings. I can't wait to get out and explore. This is so muddy. What the heck? Wow. 9.30 and it's dark in the city. 